Good afternoon, church family, and thank you for joining us for our one o'clock Wednesday devotion. It's a joy to be able to come right where you're at. Thank the Lord today for live stream. Amen. I want to go ahead and invite you to join us tonight uh, at seven o'clock for our virtual Bible study. I appreciate so much the ministries of the others who have helped and those that have assisted. But tonight, I will be coming to you with the closing and the conclusion of our study on the Word of God in the life of the believer. So remember to join us once again this evening at 7 p.m. But for today, have you ever uh, thought about how does God speak to us? You know, people say, well, God speaks to me this way and God speaks to me that way. But how does the Lord really speak? If you notice, we're sitting here in the sanctuary because this is where so many people are fed the Word of God every Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. The house of the Lord is called the house of prayer. The Lord says, come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. The Lord tells us, forsake not the assembling of ourselves together in the manner of which some will, even more so as the day of the Lord approaches. So that leads to the question, how does God speak? Well, God speaks to us as he speaks to us. God speaks to his people. God speaks to his people. The word of God declares in Psalms 32 and verse 8, I will instruct you and I will teach you in the way that you shall go. You see, God speaks to us through his holy word. This is why it is so important that we get into the word of God. And I'll say more about that tonight at seven o'clock. But God also speaks to us through his divine God called ministers, both men and women of God that are called to herald out the word, to preach the word. You know, the apostle Paul declared, I do not come with enticing words of men's wisdom, but I come in the demonstration and the power of the Holy Ghost. We need to speak the word of God in the power and the authority of the Holy Spirit of God. Then God speaks to us through providential means. You might say, well, what does providential means mean? Well, you might be praying about something and saying, God, if only someone would speak to me concerning this matter. Maybe you go to breakfast or you bump into someone uh, at Murphy USA pumping this high dollar gas. How about that? But then all of a sudden they give you a word not realizing what you had prayed for. That's providentially speaking into your life. And then God speaks to us through the Holy Spirit of God. The word of God declares, and when he has come, talking about the Holy Ghost, he will lead and guide us into all truth. There are times that the Holy Spirit will impress you with a word, with a thought. God will use the Holy Spirit to bring the word of God alive in your heart and life. So therefore, God speaks to us as his children. God also speaks with us with us as the people of God. 1 John 1 and 3 declares, truly one fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. God speaks to us in the fellowship of the brotherhood. God speaks to us as we fellowship with him, not only in a house of prayer, but when you commune with God early in the morning, what is your time that you spend with God? Well, beloved, when you have that time of fellowship with God and you begin to meditate upon God, God will speak to you. And oh, may he speak to you peace that passes all understanding. May he speak to you healing in your physical body. And may he speak to you peace of mind for your troubled heart. God not only speaks to his people and God not only speaks with his people, but get this, God speaks through his people. 
You say, well, Pastor Motes, does God really use me? Oh, yes, he does, beloved. You see, we're all lay ministers of the Lord. We're all salt and light in a darkened world. So therefore, God uses you to speak life into someone's heart. Maybe today when you're at lunch and someone is downcast in their spirit, it could be the one you're going to lunch with. It could be the waiter or the waitress that you will speak a word of encouragement to them. You see, we're living in a day and hour, beloved, that people need to hear the word of God. And you and I, for so many, are the only salt and light that people will ever receive from. So therefore, this is why Paul, writing to Timothy in 2 Timothy, the second chapter, he said, Study to show thyself approved unto God as a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. When you take the word and you study the word, then get out into the highways and hedges. It will be amazing how God will speak through you to make a difference in someone's life. People are saying nowadays, oh, I wished I could hear from God. I wished I had a word from the Lord. Well, beloved, every time we open this beautiful book, known as God's holy word, you're receiving a word from God. So therefore, remember today, as you might desire for God to speak to you, that God does speak to his people, that God speaks with his people, and God speaks through his people. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. He says in Matthew 10 and 20, for it is not you that speaks, but the spirit of your father. So let God arise in your heart today and speak the truth of God. When the enemy comes in like a flood, God says, I will raise up a standard. You see, beloved, we're living in an hour that the enemy is trying to attack so many people mentally, trying to cause them to be anxious and full of anxiety. But speak the word of God in truth and let the word of God do the work that God would have it to do. We need the word more today than we've ever needed it. And people are watching you and people are listening to you. Don't allow the enemy to make you think that you're not important. Don't allow the enemy to make you think that no one is listening because it could be that one sitting over in the corner that's watching your life, that's receiving. It could be that coworker that sits across the room from you or across the hallway and they're watching you fight your battles on your knees and with the love of God shed abroad in your heart. So let's open up our mouth and allow the word of God to speak to people, with people, and through people in Jesus' name. May God richly bless you is my prayer.